In this video, we are going to see how negative feedback impacts system dynamics which is also called as transient response and later we will see how it impacts bandwidth as well. To start with, let me take an open loop system whose transfer function is given by k over 1 plus s t where k is the zero frequency gain and t is the time constant. Let me take R as input and C as output. So this is the transfer function. Let me take the same system and put it in a negative feedback loop. So for closed loop, let me put this K over 1 plus ST. take the feedback and connect it here. So input is R, output is C. Now instead of putting a sensor element with transfer function H, let me take the transfer function to be 1 so that it's a unity negative feedback system so that we don't have confusion on what value of H we should take. So it's fixed, it's 1. So let me see what is the transfer function of this system now which is K over 1 plus ST whole divided by 1 plus k over 1 plus st. If you rewrite this, we'll get k over 1 plus st plus k. It can be rewritten again as, if you take 1 plus k common, we get k over 1 plus k whole divided by 1 plus s times t over 1 plus k. We can rewrite this again as k prime over 1 plus s t prime, where k prime is given by k over 1 plus k and t prime is given by t over 1 plus k. Now both the systems are first order systems because the entire transfer function of this first and the second one where the highest power of s is 1. So these are like apple to apple comparisons but not yet. We need to do some modification to actually see them same. To compare, I'm going to first find the impulse response of the open loop system, which is nothing but the inverse Laplace transform of the transfer function itself. So if I take inverse Laplace transform of the transfer function, where the transfer function is given by k over 1 plus st, which can be rewritten as k over capital T divided by s plus 1 over capital T. So if I take inverse Laplace transform, I get k over t times e power minus t over capital T times u of t, indicating that this response is valid only after t greater than 0. Now let's see for the closed loop case what is the impulse response, which is nothing but taking inverse Laplace transform of this transfer function. So it looks exactly the same as this transfer function that we got here, except that k is with k prime, t is with t prime. So let me write the impulse response of this system. So I'm going to write this is closed loop impulse response, which will be k prime over t prime times e power minus t over t times u of t. Whereas this transfer function is h open loop, which is k over t e power minus t by t times u of t. So we have two impulse responses side by side. Now let us compare these two side by side. So this impulse response open and this impulse response. Let me plot the impulse response for the first one, the open loop case, where the magnitude is given by k over t. And if I take the impulse response, it exponentially decays. Hypothetically, if the function would have proceeded with the same slope as at t equals to 0 throughout, it would have reached its final value which is 0 in capital T time. Now let us see for the second case where the magnitude at t equals to 0 is k prime over t prime which is exactly k by t which is same as this one. 
the only difference being now the time constant here is t prime okay so t prime is far less compared to the capital T for the open loop case because it is divided by 1 plus k where k is the zero frequency gain which is usually a higher value so what happens is this response reaches zero very quickly because the time constant is very small now if you see we have this slope here and if you see how fast it goes and touches t if it continues in this path but of course it doesn't but this t is actually t prime if you compare this t to t prime t prime is actually t over 1 plus k so time constant has constant has reduced as a result the dynamic response of the closed loop system has improved significantly because now it is faster and can track any input better compared to the open loop case as we have seen negative feedback improves dynamic or transient response of the system compared to its open loop counterpart now let us see how it impacts the bandwidth in general control systems are low pass in nature having said that this example is a perfect test case for us to continue our discussion on if you find the magnitude response of this open loop system which can be written as k over s can be substituted with j omega and we are trying to find the magnitude so we take square root of 1 plus omega square t square so this is the magnitude which is changing with respect to omega if we plot this the zero frequency gain which is called the k keeps continuing like that and after certain frequency it keeps dropping and if you see at a frequency called omega equals to 1 over t this gain would have dropped to k over square root 2 we call this frequency as cutoff frequency so for reference we'll call this omega o representing open loop cutoff frequency this is magnitude response now similarly let's find the magnitude response of the closed loop system where the transfer function is k prime over 1 plus s t prime where k prime is k over 1 plus k now if you take the magnitude of this function we can take k prime over 1 plus omega square times t prime square plot the magnitude response of the system where the zero frequency gain is k prime which is given by k over 1 plus k which is far less value compared to k but as we see how this gain changes as frequency changes this keeps constant for quite some frequency and then drops at omega equals to 1 over t prime where we'll call this omega as cutoff frequency for closed loop case we'll call this omega c at which k prime the magnitude would have become k prime over square root 2 we know that omega c is definitely very greater than omega o representing the closed loop system bandwidth which is called this range of frequencies called the bandwidth and here these range of frequencies called the bandwidth definitely the bandwidth of the closed loop system is higher compared to the open loop system this is mainly because the time constant for this closed loop system is less compared to the open loop system which in fact improved the dynamic or transient response which in this case is improving the bandwidth as well so to conclude negative feedback improves bandwidth as well